Okay, so Sunday, just a quick lesson on net mending. If you buy the same net, everyone's buying them these days, you have to get these as well. Simple net mending tool. Um, and the twine you use is very important. You can get it from wherever you buy your nets from. Make sure you get a load of it, because you'll need it, even if you're netting. You just, you just rip nets all the time. We spend as much time uh, disinfecting and mending our nets as we do using them at your fishery. So, if you come here, I'll show you how to do it. Basically, you load up the needles, fairly straightforward. And whenever you, whenever you get a, a rip, obviously there's gonna be frayed bits like this, and like this, and like this. It's never a neat mend, you know. Quite sometimes we've ripped them in half, but basically there's no point going through that one, because that is gonna come undone anyway. So you have to go through the one behind it to start off, okay? A couple of important things. When you start off, you can just tie some granny knots in it, just to get you started, okay? Not too many, just one or two. Leave a tag end, don't cut that off. A lot of people trying to be mega neat will cut that down there. And then this obviously needs to move and, and work. And as it does that, if you only cut it down to there thinking you're being clever, then it will just pull out and the whole thing will come out. Cause you're not actually tying knots. You don't, it's the whole point of knotless mesh. So you don't hurt your fish. This is why we don't use cable ties. You should never use cable ties to mend nets. It's absolutely the wrong thing to do. So basically, as you can see, tiny little hole here. So you go back through. You go once and twice. The second one will lock onto the first one. Speed will come later, don't try and be fast. And again, look, this one here is frayed. So unfortunately, you can't go through that one because that's going to break anyway. So you have to go the one behind it. Like I say, don't try and go fast. That will come with time. Never exact unless it's a very neat mend because it's just the nature of it, really. You're dealing with lakes with snags and all sorts. So, the second one is what knots it. See, this is all a bit of a mess here, but it's a good one to show you because these are all frayed. So, you go through that one again. Big holes are actually easy because if you normally, if you rip it on a snag in a fishery, it's just a long, neat rip. We do do bits on site when we rip them, but quite often we'll do it at home. So that's only a tiny little hole. And then when you've finished, you just go the one above it. One, two, and when you're finishing up, just do a few more. You can go through twice like that. We've done a few tutorials. There's actually a video of me teaching some people in the, the Middle East to do this. It's quite straightforward, but don't try and rush it. Like everything, don't try and do it too quick. And then you get a knife cut it off basically it doesn't look very neat at the moment you can if you wanted to like with a bigger rip if there's a lot you can trim away these bits but the important thing is leave a tag end on each end um, and mend it like that that won't come undone that's absolutely fine don't use cable ties because they're absolutely rubbish you, not only are you leaving a bit of plastic on your net which can hurt the fish it catches up on the net so when you're trying to shoot it out of a boat or you're trying to just handle a net it's not good, you'll cut, you'll cut fish on it, you'll damage the seat. Use proper net needle, proper twine, um, and just take your time. Bigger holes are easy, you just get yourself some space. We don't lay them out on the grass. If you lay it all out on the grass, get cups, dog shit on it and everything, and, and also if it freezes at night, it makes it very difficult. So we, we always use the bins and feed a bit out, peg it up. If you get a big rip, you can just peg it up against the wall or something like that, and then figure out where it goes. Some, occasionally, not very often, but occasionally you'll lose a bit of net. And the only way to do that if you get a big hole would be to peg this out and cut off a lot of little bits and tie it up where you think it goes and let it hang and then you'll see uh, how it's hanging if it doesn't look right you might have lost a bit in there it doesn't happen very often um, and normally you just sew it together but the whole point is when it's finished the net should still lay flat like that so even though we've had to come in one you can still see the lines are there if it's all crunched up like this when you've mended it, that's bad because it, eventually, if you keep doing that, you'll, it puckers up too much and it won't fish right. So the whole thing has to be done properly like that. And that's strong, that's absolutely fine, but leave these tag ends on. Don't, don't cut them down because, again, you're not really tying a knot, you're just locking it in place. Um, and that's it really, simple net mending.